Hey there, welcome to Montreal. I'm really excited to be here because I've never been here before and I'm excited to check out the Frenchy part of Canada. And you know that I love bicycles. I am here for the Go Bike Montreal Festival. I'm gonna ride bikes all over this beautiful city for the next few days. And I'm gonna find out why this city is one of the best cycling cities in all of North America. Let's go have some fun. The sun is setting. It is a beautiful night here in Montreal and I'm getting ready to ride with about 15,000 people in Tour La Nuit, which is French for the night, I think. <laughs> I got my bib on, I got my press pass. Let's ride bikes. Tour La Nuit is just an amazing event. It's the 20th edition this year. It's Montreal at its best, Montreal nightlife. And you know Montreal is a crazy city about bicycle, people will just love it and with a nice weather like this tonight, it will be great. I don't know how these organizers did it, but they made the sun set right on this street. Alright, here we go. Time to ride bikes with all these awesome people. This is gonna be a leisurely ride. I think it's about 12 miles total. There's something very empowering about being on the streets with this many cyclists. It feels good. Everybody's here for the same reason, to get a little bit of exercise, to be with their families, to be part of the community, and to have fun. And when you put all that together, that's just pretty much the best of humanity right there. One of my favorite things in the world, this is what I dream about when it's cold and dark in the winter, is riding bikes in the summertime. At nighttime, there's no better feeling in the world. Shorts and a t-shirt, wind in your hair, perfect temperature, nice and cool, ring in your bell. Ah, it's the little things in life that make me happy. Yeah! I'm impressed with how many little kids are out here just riding their bikes late into the night, like 12, 15 miles. That's pretty good. They, they must breed them tough here. Sweet! We did it! Tour la nuit! It's a beautiful morning in the Montreal neighborhood and we're going on a bike ride. Bonjour, bienvenue à Montréal. My name is Jeffy Boy. There is a million cyclists. It's half of the population using bike at least once a week. Um, I mean, they, use, they do bikes and 66% of that million people using bike, it's at least once a week. And for half a million, for uh, 500,000 people, it's a mid of transport. It's the way they bike, there's the way they travel to job, to bar, to party, to, to church, anything you want. Biking is the best way to move yourself in here. I like how quiet these streets are. It's like we're riding around a little village. He's taken us to this really beautiful alley where they've turned it into a garden. I love this little shared area common space alley. All the neighbors have turned it into a beautiful little green area with fountains and flowers and sculptures and I could definitely live here. I could live in a place like this. You can tell they have a strong sense of community here.
We're gonna eat the Montreal style bagels. I'm gonna bring you right to the kitchen. We're gonna see how they make them. And there's nothing more Montreal local stuff to do than having a bagel right on the street of the Smiland. We're here in amazing, beautiful weather. Snow is coming, but we have like a week at least, so let's go. This is definitely a very good bagel. Is it the best bagel in the world? Maybe so. It is because I'm here right now and I'm gonna say it's the best in the world. Ain't nothing better than a Saturday market. I love markets. They're my favorite places to visit. Wherever I travel around the world, they're always full of life and people and food and colors and smells and it's a good place to really feel the pulse of the city. I am a fan of Montreal. This is a cool city for sure. Is there anything better than riding bikes on a Sunday morning with 25,000 people? The answer is there is not. It is time for the Tour de Lille. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it means Tour of the Island. This is the big event for Go Bike Montreal. It has been an amazing weekend, and I can't wait to jump in there with all these friendly people. It's a big happening, a cyclist happening. It's called the Tour de Lille de Montréal, and it's the 34th edition. We start at 85, and we expect 25,000 cyclists today, and they will ride a 50 kilometer ride without cars. So the city is for cyclists today and you can enjoy the city on a very nice circuit but there's no car on the road, only cyclists. It's a biking city of Montreal, yes, for more than almost 40 years we have a cycling network but this event when we launched it in 1985 that's helped a lot to convince people to use a bike as leisure or for commute to the job or for going to school. So, you know, each year it's increasing and increasing and people, they are, uh, they like cycling in Montreal. I gotta say, it's really inspiring to see how many kids are out here and how many families are out here. People just out to have a great time and get some exercise. And it's also inspiring to see that this major city has shut down all of its roads. And it's just us. Not only is this a very fit and athletic city, obviously, but people here have great bike manners. They use hand signals, they let you know when they're passing on the left, nobody really rides aggressively. They know how to share the roads, and uh, we need a lot more of that around the world. Montreal's got it going on. We are now riding past the Montreal spaceship, or at least it looks like that. I think this is one of the stadiums used in the Olympics back in the 70s. toward the finish line here in a very beautiful part of the city. Thank you so much Velo Quebec and the Montreal Tourism Board for bringing me out here. I love Montreal, thank you so much.